This is the reproductive system by Annalise Perez and Adriana Lopez. The female reproductive system. The organs involved. The labia majora encloses and protects the other external reproductive organs. The labia minora surrounds the openings of the vagina and urethra. Bartholin's glands are located beside the vaginal, vaginal opening and produce fluid. The clitoris is small, sensitive protrusion covered by the prepuce, which is a fold of skin. The vagina is the canal that joins the cervix to the outside body. And the uterus is a hollow, pear-shaped organ that holds a fetus. It's split into two parts, the cervix and the corpus. The cervix is the lower part that connects to the vagina. The corpus is the main part that holds the fetus and can expand. The ovaries are small oval-shaped glands located on either side of the uterus. They produce eggs and hormones. Fallopian tubes are the narrow tubes that connect the ovaries to the uterus. This is where the egg cells travel through and fertilization occurs here. Effects of age. Menopause stops the menstrual cycle and the ovaries stop producing estrogen. Also, the tissue of the labia, minora, clitoris, vagina, and urethra thin. This can lead to irritation, dryness, and discharge from the vagina. More likely to develop vaginal infections after menopause and after menopause the fallopian tubes, the uterus, and the ovaries become smaller. The male reproductive system. Organs involved. The penis. It's three parts. The root attaches to the abdomen, the shaft, which is the body, and the glands, which is also called the head, is covered with a loose layer of skin called the foreskin. The scrotum is a loose pouch-like sack of skin that hangs behind and below the penis. It contains the testicles and the many nerves and blood vessels. The, they also control the climate of the testicles. The testicles are oval organs the size of large olives that lie in the scrotum. They make testosterone and generate sperm. The epididymis is a long coiled tube that rests on the back of each testicle. It transports and stores sperm to maturity. Vas deferens is a long muscular tube that travels from the epididymis into the pelvic cavity. It transports mature sperm to the urethra. The ejaculatory ducts are formed by the fusion of the vas deferens and the seminal vesicles. They empty into the urethra. The urethra is a tube that carries urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. It also ejaculates semen. The seminal vesicles are sac-like pouches that attach to the vas deferens near the base of the bladder. This, they produce sugar-rich fluid that provides the sperm with energy. Prostate gland is a walnut-sized structure that is located below the urinary bladder in front of the rectum. The prostate fluids help nourish the sperm. The bulbourethral glands are pea-sized structures located on the sides of the urethra below the prostate gland. They produce a clear, slippery fluid that empties directly into the urethra. What is HPV? HPV is human papillomer papillomavirus. HPV is the most common STI. There are different types of HPV. Um, there are vaccines that can stop these health problems from happening, and you get them when you're young. Um, anyone who is sexually active can get HPV. It can be passed from another person, even if the infected one has no signs or symptoms. Mothers can also transfer during birth or nursing. Um, you can develop symptoms years after having sex with someone who is infected. In most cases, HPV goes away on its own, but in some, it does not go away. Um, it can be treated but not cured, and most treatment is mainly removing the warts. How does HPV affect females? You can get HPV through skin-to-skin -skin and genital contact. Um, most women with low risk with genital HPV never know they are infective, infected because they never get warts or any other symptoms, and genital warts can grow inside and around the outside of the vagina, the cervix, the groin, and the anus. Genital warts can grow inside the mouth of and throat of a person who has had oral sex with a person who is infected, but this is very rare. How does it affect males? HPV increases a man's risk of getting genital cancer, but it's not very common. Um, HPV can cause genital warts in men just like women, and men will clear the infection on their own with no health problems, and there's no treatment for men who are infected 
when there are no symptoms present.